I was destined to be nothing. I was part of the welfare system. I was in severe depression. My mana was nothingness. I started to heal with the knowledge of how to provide. Because I can live off the land. I can feed my kids. Tane mahuta, tane nuiarangi, tane whakapiripiri, whakarungo mai, whakarungo mai. No we wehi ngā mātua, no ko te ao, no ko te pō. My self-worth has pretty much been non-existent, whether it be physical abuse or emotional abuse. They kind of strip you down to nothing. I don't want that to ever happen for my daughters. They started wahine tua hunting to help women fill their freezers. On the waiting list, 3,000 plus women wanting to come out and learn how to hunt. So this rifle here is a 308. This is the bolt. The bolt is the key. This is the petrol, the magazine, and the bullets. I need to learn some better skills instead of just going to the supermarket. I am a single mum. Chuck down on the ground. Best position. I want to learn how to hunt for my children, being a single female. I'm lock that into your shoulder where there is a bone under there. And now lock it in. Yeah. The more locked in it is, the less you're going to get punched in the face with a rifle. Well, I really struggle with anxiety and especially social anxiety. The unknown really freaks me out. When you're ready, take three deep breaths. So on the bottom of the third when you breathe out, takes away the anxiety. Safety off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Within the group, a lot of them, they're stuck. Can you afford to drop your kid off at school and get petrol? Or do you afford groceries that week? You feel like a failure. As if you're constantly thinking so low of yourself all the time and then you're getting abused, or you have no money, how can you flourish mentally? You just give them a chance and you just believe in them that they can do this. When I had my second child, I was not in a good relationship. My mana was just kicked to nothing. And when I had my son, I almost died. <sighs> that really punched me in the face. Like, that would have been your life. Nothingness. OK, my face. Oh, this is amazing. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I don't want people's money for hunting. As soon as I do that, that's the money and the integrity of the Kokopagong. It's a gift. If you hoard knowledge that can help somebody feed their kids, your knowledge dies with you. Why would you do that? So what's your, your, your core reason for coming here? Pretty much my kids. They're my driving force for everything. Mm. And, you know, I've got them. Like, mm. I just want this to be a mad trickle effect. Mm. This is exactly the core co of Wahine Tua Hunti. Mm. It's like a reset for me. I'm off the grid, you know, so it just kind of helps me think just clearer. You know, OK, what should I be focused on? Us as mothers, we're always focused on our kids. We're carrying the mental load all day. And you go into a place like the bush, you're not thinking about that. You're thinking about right where you are. And especially as single mums, because we all know how hard it is to take that break. You're just stuck. And you see no way out. And you're just trapped in this bullshit circle of welfare, drugs, drama. 
the circle just continues and a lot of that comes from intergenerational trauma. That's why so many of our kids are in foster care. No one's healing the trauma. It's just getting passed on and on and on. What we'll be looking for here is as we're going into the sun, deer and goat, they sit and they like bask in the sun on the clearings. So that it's, it's this is like a perfect place to go because there's lots of slips. When you have a destructive pest like deer in the Ngahere, it destroys the bush. Side note though, they taste bloody delicious and can feed a lot of people. If we can take that pest out of the bush, save the bush and feed our children for free, that just makes complete sense. This now is stalking. Yeah. And when you walk your feet, you walk slow and purposeful. We walk up the river, it'll be too noisy, so we'll go back and go around. Meat is expensive. You just got this for free with nothing but your knowledge. So you want to utilise every part of it. Pans is creating a real sisterhood for us wahine out there. And also potentially catching a kai. It's just a real different sense in my wairua that I haven't really felt before. I will forever be trying to heal the trauma I grew up with. I know that. There'll be levels to it. And I think I'm only halfway. And this kaupapa is a massive part of that. Ko whahine tua hunting. I vision it being massive all throughout New Zealand. And I will continue to do this for the rest of my life.